Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 2 assignment of the course Joy of Computing using Python. Guys, we have already posted video on Python Joy of Python week 1 guys. So thank you for your encouragement and support. So we have crossed 1k views for that video and we are expecting even more. So that's why we are uh, trying to bring you the solutions more interactive. So as uh, actually they have given 30 questions this uh, week. So let's directly go in get into the solutions guys. So please watch the video till the end. So what is the most appropriate data type to print the savings? So it can include decimal values also. I mean point floating point values as well. So first op uh, for first question, second option is the probable solution guys. Float is the correct answer. Guys, these are completely our probable solutions. If there are any changes that come to our notice, definitely we will update that in the comment section. Definitely like the video, guys. Then only our videos will reach more number of students and that they will also get benefited. What is the correct Python syntax to take customer purchase amount as input? So for second question, second option once again, float of input. So if you want to suggest any solutions, you can please do that in the comment section, guys. So next one, which of the following correctly applies a 20% discount on the purchase amount stored in a variable amount? So for third question, there are two probable solutions. The first one is first option and the other one is last option. Next, if a customer spends more than 5000, they get 20% discount. Which, is the which of the statement is correct to check this? So only greater than, that means spends more than 5000. So first option definitely more than 5000 guys definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this video within your whatsapp groups guys student groups and make everyone subscribe and like our videos subscribe our channel right next what is the output of the code if m amount is 6000 so for this question For fifth question, option B, 4800 is the probable solution, guys. 4800. Next. And for this question, also it is second option, guys. So we don't have actually time to explain all of that, right? Because 30 questions are there. So within the limited time constraints, we have to cover all these questions, right? So please understand this, guys. Next, seventh question. For seventh question, if you see here, for the if condition, semicolon is missing. So, third option. So, if the if it is in my reach to explain quickly, then I will definitely do that, guys. Right? Next, what is the final price for the following logic? So, the probable solution is three thousand six hundred, guys. Three thousand six hundred. So, this statement will work actually here not this right next one so for this question fourth option is the probable solution next one tenth question so next question guys what is the output of the following if it is 4500 right so for this question you can choose either second option or fourth option here you can see both options are same they have mistakenly given that i think so you can choose anything you want they may give you the uh, bonus mark or any mark for that so out of these two anything is correct guys next for 11th question most suitable to print multiplication so they know the exact range then for loop will be the best one next 12th question for 12th question second option is the probable solution next 13th one what will be the output of the range 1 comma 11 inside a loop so it prints from 1 to 10 guys that means n minus 1 11 minus 1 that is 10 so 1 to 10 both are inclusive that means both will be included right 
so math 13th question as option a the correct answer for 13th question first option guys before getting into the next next question i want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs for the course joy of computing using python we have got the we have got the exam preparation mcqs these are past nptel collection of past nine past semester assignment mcqs with five years and more experience we are we have collected this so 125 mcqs 150 rupees guys so two approximate uh, two semesters approximately 120 uh, i mean 240 mcqs two semesters for each semester 120 mcqs right approximately so for two semesters 240 mcqs 250 rupees only and 360 mcqs 360 rupees 600 mcqs just 500 rupees only guys and 1000 plus mcqs that means almost nine semesters mcqs 800 only so please choose one of these pack guys and mail me to this email id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com already many students and even professors have also taken our various pdf packs guys so take it now itself so that you can get more time to prepare at the end bk179417 at the rate gmail.com i will give the same email id in the description box also guys you can copy it from there so you can choose one pack from this and mail me to this email id guys so collection of nine past assignment mcqs so these are restricted mcqs pdfs guys so restricted access and it will you will get that in a google drive pdf restricted link right and the validity will be till the exam results day so think about this guys Sh uh, share this news with your friends and classmates now let's get back to the solution so for this question 14th question second option is the probable solution next question 15th one also second option is the probable solution guys second option next 16th one for 16th question first option next 17th question for 17th question it will be infinite loop next 18th one second option 1 into 5 equals to 5 equals to 5 right next 19th question continue so if you want to skip the current iteration of a loop and continue with the next one it is continue guys next 20th question first option next 21st question it is third option 22nd one first option 23rd one second option 24th also second option 25th once again second 26th one first option is the probable solution guys next 27th for 27th i have got two probable solutions the first one is second option and the other one is third option next 28th second option guys 29th first option and the most uh, the last question of the assignment that is 30th question it is once again second option so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 2 assignment of the course joy of computing using python hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 1000 plus mcqs pack guys so you can choose any pack you want based on your budget so i recommend take at least 360 mcqs pack to cover more models right so that's it guys so already many students and even professors have also taken our various pdf packs in the previous years guys including the last season as well so take it now itself guys so mail me to this email id bk179417 at the gmail.com so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this so definitely subscribe our channel if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed yet definitely please subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this video with your friends and classmates in your whatsapp groups and make some discussion happen on this right so that's it guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you